Google Sheets has a very useful feature called data validation. Data validation allows you to set up required criteria to be entered into a specific cell or range. Here's an example showing data validation as a list, a number, an email, a date, and a checkbox. Each one of these will reject input into the cell unless it follows the required format. If we try to enter a value that is not on the predefined drop-down list, Google Sheets will reject the input. Number validation will limit the entries into the cell to numbers only. Here, we'll need a valid email. This requires a valid date. And finally, a checkbox or true-false input. Let's take a quick look on how to set this up. Select the cell you want to apply the data validation to, then in the menu select Data, then Data Validation. This will bring up a pop-up menu. In the Criteria section, choose List of Items, and then type in the options for your drop-down list separated by commas. You then have the option to select if you want to show a warning or reject input if the user tries to enter something that is not on the drop-down list. For now, we'll select Reject Input. In the Appearance section, we have the option to Show Validation Help Text. I like to select this because it will give more information about what is required if the wrong information is put into the cell. After that, click Save. So you can see if I try to enter something that was not on the list, it will reject my input because we chose the Reject Input option. And it will tell us why it was rejected because we chose the Show Validation Help Text. It's a similar process for other types of validation. The only difference is you have to select a different option in the criteria selection. I'll go ahead and set up data validation for numbers, emails, dates, and checkboxes now so you can see the parameters. Now that you know how to use data validation, I'll show you a quick example of an application that can be helpful. You can see here we have a table that we are recording the name, birthday, and email of some fictitious people. Yes, I know these names are not very creative, so let me know in the comments below what names you think I should use for future examples. I've applied data validation to the birthday and the email column to make sure that anyone adding data to our table puts in the correct information. If someone puts in a value that is not a date, it will reject the input. I've added further customization to reject any dates that are in the future since it would be impossible for somebody to have a birthday in the future. If any of that did make any sense, drop a comment in the space below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. If you want to see other great videos about Google Sheets, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the logo on the left-hand side of the screen or watch one of the suggested videos on the right-hand side.